So when you let you laying at home yes, the last sir. two nights, what's the conversation between you and your wife? The conversation between me and my wife in the last couple of days was like, Tina, when you going to come back from that stroke and make that pineapple pie for me? Because I've been waiting four years for it. That was the conversation. It's time for you. It's time for the boys to hire you a chef. Tina should be done with the cooking. She got to be done. Boy, hey, I'm going to tell you what. That Tina can cook. I know. Her having a stroke, she ain't cooked in the last three years. So I'm like a hungry man on a desert island. So you've been doing, you've been, you've been. I've been doing the chef now. I'm still good now. If I couldn't cook, I wouldn't stay my size, man. I don't want my woman to ever get mad and be like, I ain't cooking nothing for you. Then I shrivel up and then they go crazy. No, so, I'm good. And the conversation that you had with, with, with Mello over the last, let's just say the last, going through this process, obviously, you know, he's meeting with teams. He's talking to teams. He's going to work. I, I think he worked out for what, three teams, the top three teams, top four teams. He uh-huh. worked out for them. So what was your conversations with Mello? My conversation with Melo wasn't much. It's like, man, you're going to do what you're going to do. Whoever's going to pick, you're going to be the right team to pick it. Right. Now, the way the, way the, the draft went, I happen to be the luckiest guy in the world, man. I keep telling you that. I did not want to go stay in no Minnesota. I didn't want him in the cold. He don't want to live in the cold. He can say right. what he wants. I'll go to any team. He don't want to live in no Minnesota. And then, like I said, with Golden State, I figured they already got their team. With right. Clay and, and Steph, and, and you know, and Wiggins. at some point, I think Steve Kerr might have been like, you know what, that dude did call me the Millie Vanilla coaching, and if things ain't going right, I'm gonna come back through his son through him. And I didn't want Melo trying to make a decision on do I listen to my employer or do I listen to my dad. And no matter how good he is, it's still up in your head. So it right. panned out right. Greatness recognized greatness, and that boy went to Michael Jordan, which I've always been saying somebody got to be better than Jordan. Why not you? And to be tutored under him, come on, man. This is about to be something special. Well, I'm glad he went to Charlotte, too, because what I'm yes. waiting for and what everybody waiting for is this versus battle. LeVar Ball yeah. one-on-one versus Jordan. This is what I've been waiting for. Well, if you're waiting for it, hear him get in touch with pay-per-view because me and Mike ain't playing for less than $200 million. What? That's what we say. If you're going to watch Mike Tyson fight at 50, you're going to watch me and MJ play just one-on-one for pay-per-view only. And it better be over $200 million. So let me ask you a question. What if Jordan sent word through Melo? Tell your dad when he show up in Charlotte, have his gym closed. Hey, don't send no word through Melo. Talk for your own self. Come holler at you, boy. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button to become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we always do something before two something.